On Martha's Vineyard, we have a very high occurrence of Lyme disease. Uh, so we have a lot of deer, a lot of mice, and a lot of ticks. And um, unfortunately, that means that the occurrence of Lyme disease is really, really high. And um, we are trying to reduce the occurrence of Lyme disease on Martha's Vineyard by um, uh, creating or, or, or genetically engineering mice on the island to be resistant to the bacterium that causes Lyme. And you're doing that with MIT? That's correct. So it's a very collaborative project with scientists from MIT, Tufts, and Harvard, um, and they would be uh, the scientists that we're collaborating with. What's the name of the program? The project is called Mice Against Ticks, so um, uh, we're enlisting kind of the mice uh, to fight uh, the war against ticks and tick-borne disease. And how is this going to work? So what's going to happen, um, or what the project proposes, is that if we um, are able to make uh, mice that are resistant to the bacterium that causes Lyme, then those mice will no longer be able to infect ticks. Ticks will not be able to infect more mice, and but more importantly, the ticks won't be able to infect humans with the bacterium. So scientists are proposing um, to identify the genes that code for anti antibodies that uh, will uh, make the mice resistant to the bacterium that causes Lyme. After they identify the genes that code for those antibodies, um, they would then alter the, the genome of those mice so that they would have those particular genes um, and be able to pass them on to their offspring. The mice would be released onto the island, resistant mice, um, because the antibodies uh, were coded for in their genome, they would be able to pass it on to future generations and that resistance would ultimately spread throughout the population. So before too long, we would on Martha's Vineyard have a population of mice that were resistant to the bacteria. And before that happens, there's going to be a, a test or a run through on another island, perhaps? Absolutely. So the project proposes that we would actually have a test run on an uninhabited island before there would be any type of release into the community. This is also a community uh, led project. So at every step along the way, there's a steering committee that will determine um, how uh, and when we move forward with each step.